Yeah, my first photo class was my first year of college. I didn't even know it was gonna be film. I didn't even know what film was. <laughs> it was different that I wasn't digital because that's what I thought I was getting into. It was a pleasant surprise because after that, I've been doing this for 10 years. Full name's pretty long, Viviana Magdalena Curiel Flores. Um, I'm a film photographer and I mainly do portraits and we're here now in um, the dark room and photo studio. I had to take a semester of digital. Didn't like it at all. Just being at the computer, it's not my thing. My favorite part is working in the dark room and I can do that with film. I've always had a list of people I want to take photos of, you know, that their face is just so interesting. The way I photograph, I just go and shoot. You know, I see someone that inspires me, I do it. Or a location, not really with an idea of what I'm gonna do. Which sometimes I guess they say it's better to shoot with already an idea of what you want, but I do the opposite. I want her to have that suffocating feeling, you know, the... we And I feel like most of us have been in that situation, you know, where just going through a hard time, you know. And I want her to express it, and I feel like with her hands, she does that really well. Most of my portraits, people I shoot, they look straight at me at the camera, which I love, but this has a different feel, for sure. Like, This one, I love. It's a portrait of my brother. So I love it for many sentimental reasons, but I think it's a great portrait. It's, he, it's the first time he's let me photograph him. So, I just love. First time ever. Yeah, it was great. But this one, was more present, and I really like. Challenging, but worth it, I feel. She's so so different. I've never seen anyone, I don't know, she's just working with her, seeing her movements, her facial expressions. I knew I just had to photograph her. Yeah. Terribly lost, hurt, and mad. And I don't know if those are just feelings I feel that uh, I don't express myself, but that's what I love and want to photograph. Mostly it's people that already know me and I'm like, have you seen my work? Do you know, do you, this is kind of what, you know, I'm aiming for. Um, do you feel comfortable being photographed? If, you know, this is me as an artist. Like, do you like my work? Do you, would you like me to photograph you? And most of the time they say yes, so that's really cool. I want you to see and to see me, and oh, not specifically myself as an artist, but the photograph, to see what's in front of you and be intrigued and stay there, you know, hold you for a bit and um, maybe make you wonder or connect or remember something that connects you to the photograph itself. Um, I want it to be beautiful, but maybe not your typical beautiful, like, oh, you love it because it's what you think is pleasing. It's the opposite, kind of maybe make you uncomfortable or sad or angry. But I feel like that's beautiful things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 